best wishes everybody a good morning from bangladesh this is nazmula hasan professor of medicine and governor scp chapter bangladesh at the outset i want to express my thanks to the organizers and scientific committee particularly governor scp chapter india professor konuz mohishari this is definitely an honor and privilege for me to present this uh, paper in front of learned audience and listeners and at the same time i want i will request mr chairman and also governor scp chapter india to pass this message to all the listeners and uh, fellows and members of scp chapter india from bangladesh uh, my topic is zika virus uh, an update zika forest this name has come from the a language luganda zika forest is a tropical forest in luganda and it is a very famous uh, forest for certain regions uh, now uh, with, this is the forest and this is the property of uganda virus research institute uh, regarding the history the this first zika virus this was detected in the in uganda in 1947 and it was identified in human beings in 1952 in uganda and also in tanzania before 2007 at least 14 human cases of zika had been documented but uh, from the 1960 to 1980 human infections are found across africa asia typically accompanied by mild illness but in 2014 to 2016 there is a huge outbreak of this zika virus infection in uh, south america particularly brazil and many other countries so zika virus this is the zika virus infection how it spread from africa to many asian countries and also south american american countries so zika virus infection it shows Uh, in 1947 it was first documented in uh, it was first human case in nigeria and 1970 there were cases in pakistan india malaysia and indonesia so the in, in 19 2014 and 16 huge number of cases were out, there were outbreak uh, in not america south america particularly brazil and costa rica and many other uh, countries but there are many countries the antibody had has been detected so recently uh, is a considerable number of cases have been reported in several indian states in recent years india's first three cases of zika virus are re reported between Uh, February 2016 to 2017 in Ahmedabad. Uh, but um, India's latest Zika virus outbreak seems surge of nearly 100 cases. So this is uh, uh, recently it has been it appeared in healthcare and pharmaceuticals in November 2021. That huge number of cases being out there is an outbreak. the economic times they have also reported that outbreaks of zika virus reported from uttar pradesh kerala and maharashtra in 2021 so this is a serious concern there are different uh, reports reported in different medias that 24 more cases of zika virus in uttar pradesh and 20 more six cases in other reported from kerala and other and many other uh, provinces regarding uh, bangladesh um, it is showing that purple areas the country of our uh, territory that has been ever reported zika cases in the past or currently this is the purple areas uh, but you see the yellow country or territory with mosquito but no reported zika virus cases look in huge area in china it is yellow there is no reported 
So in India, huge number of has already been reported. In Bangladesh, there is area for transmission, but not yet to my knowledge reported for Zika virus infection. So Zika virus, uh, there is um, also a report from Bangladesh media that a possible emerging threat for Bangladesh also. And even uh, World Health Organization urges Bangladesh to take measures against Zika virus infection because there is a threat also in, since it is remaining in the same region or zone. There are regarding some fewer concern that uh, COVID-19 and Zika, it is an emerging dilemma for Brazil. They have reported that. And also there is incidence of Zika virus infection from dengue epidemic threat in Thailand. So they have reported that it is also co-infection of dengue uh, can occur. So Thailand, there are a lot of cases of dengue. They have reported that dengue and Zika can co in there may be co-infection. So in Costa Rica, there is also a huge number of cases of Zika infection, but in 2020 and 2021, there are no cases from US. This is showing the active transmission route of Zika virus infection, uh, particularly at the currently the North America, uh, South America and part of this region. This is mostly prevalent cases. CDC also gives trouble alert of Zika virus uh, in these regions. Regarding the clinical features, Zika can spread through mosquito bites, but there are also other uh, routes like uh, some other kind of diseases like HIV infection or also in case of hepatitis B virus infections and to some extent also C. So, Sex with an infected person may be an one of the important route. Sometimes laboratory is for exposure, even blood transfusion may, may be the route. But no reports of infants uh, getting Zika through breastfeeding yet. But most important is mosquito bite, particularly Aedes mosquito. So Aedes mosquito, this is an important vector for many diseases, uh, particularly dengue, chikungunya, so, and also yellow fever. So this is, this is showing the cycle of transmission of human infections, particularly in urban, so this is the urban cycle, and, and particularly in urban areas, it is transmitted by bites by Aedes mosquito, but it can be transmitted um, to the fetus from the uh, pregnant mother, also parental transmission and sexual transmission to be considered. How does Zika affect people? So incubation period is very short. Many people will not have uh, symptoms and illness. So it is a mildest type of illness. Symptoms last several days to weeks, particularly the first week is the most important. Seven to 10 days is usually the suffering period. People rarely get admission to hospital and death is, is unusual. So, uh, up to um, today, around 51 cases of death and reported cases of Zika has been reported. So total number of deaths reported is around 51 and most of them due to different complications. Symptoms like uh, dengue fever and also Chikungunya, fever, rash, headache, joint pain, conjunctivitis, particularly red eyes, and muscle pain, backache, malaise. These are the important symptoms in Zika virus infection. This is a maculopapular rash. Fever with rash is a common finding in some viral infections like that. Zika also produces fever with rash with some conjunctivitis. Like this, mild fever, conjunctivitis, headache, body ache, skin rash, these are the most important features. Onset is usually two to some uh, seven days after mosquito bites. One in four people usually they get Zika infection uh, symptoms. And very small number of people can develop complications after 
uh, infection with Zika virus. So this is a, a chart which is showing what is the clean difference in Zika, dengue, and conjunctivitis. Fever is, is common to all three diseases, and but rash is very common in Zika, and sometimes in dengue, and particularly in Zika, chikungunya also get rash. In conjunctivitis is also very uh, common. But a body ache or joint pain, this is very common in case of chikungunya, but in case of Zika, but in case of dengue, we get body ache, but joint pain is not that much serious, but myalgia or body ache or backache is very common in dengue. Headache is also very common in case of uh, dengue fever, but in case of dengue, there may be complications and death due to uh, dengue shock syndrome or tumorous. So these are the important features of differentiation. In these diseases, usually they are stratified into confirmed case, probable case, and suspected case. A person presenting with rash and fever, and at least one of the following signs of arthralgia and arthritis conjunctivitis, they are suspected. But if the IgM is antibody is positive, we can consider it is a probable case. But when uh, there is uh, viral culture or PCR is positive, then we can consider it as a suspected case. GK is a very important concern due to its complication in, during pregnancy. So this is the most important part of the Zika virus infection. An infection during pregnancy can cause damage to the brain, microcephaly, congenital Zika syndrome, miscarriage, distal birth, and birth defects. No evidence that past infection of Zika can lead to complications in subsequent pregnancies. Distinct pattern of birth defects in fetus and infants of women infected during pregnancy Associated with there is five types of birth defects can occur in uh, Zika, which is uh, not common in other types of infection during pregnancy. One most important is severe microcephaly, that is a small head size, resulting in a partially collapsed skull. This is the most important part of complication of Zika, uh, particularly if a pregnant a woman becomes infected with this virus. So decreased birth tissue with brain damage, damage of the back of the eye with a special pattern of scarring and increased pigmentation is also features. Limited range of joint motion such as like club foot is also common. Too much muscle tone restricting body movement soon after birth is also possible. So microcephaly, this is the most important serious concern regarding GK infection. Where a body, body's, uh, baby's head is much smaller than expected. During pregnancy, a baby, baby's head grows because the body's brain grows. But here, its head circumference becomes less than 32 centimeter at birth. So this is the most important part of the Zika infection during pregnancy. This is the normal skull and this is a, a patient skull. The, the brain is a very shrunken and small. So, but and uh, next to macrocephaly, one other neurological complication is also a serious concern that is Zika. Gulenberry syndrome is strongly associated with Zika. There are a lot of informations and report already given, but only a small proportion of people with recent Zika infection get GBS. CDC is continuing to investigate the link between GBC, GBS and Zika to learn more. But Japan first reported that GBS can occur in patients with Zika infection. So uh, this is uh, one study that uh, Zika virus infection patients, they were studied. They have reported that Gulenberry syndrome is also possible. Regarding investigations in Zika infection, a doctor or other healthcare provider will ask about any recent trouble or any signs of symptoms. And so history is very important. And blood or urine test can be confirmed a Zika infection. The Zika virus usually remains in the blood about a week. 
so this uh, this is the criteria or guideline who are to be tested anyone who has recently had zika symptoms pregnant women who live in or frequently travel to areas with zika virus infection they are to be also tested so testing of baby cdc recommends laboratory testing for all infants born to mothers with laboratory evidence of zika virus infection during pregnancy and this is the there are some so culture of virus generally is not done but acute phase that is less than 7 days after onset zika specific pcr test is the most diagnostic test but uh, after that Uh, it can be IgM can be tested. So tests are like that of dengue virus infection also. So there are other commercial tests kits which are used in different other regions, particularly Europe. They have developed other kits for detecting this Zika virus infection. So like dengue fever and chikungunya. This is a also viral illness with rash. No specific treatment, no vaccine. Treatment is mainly symptomatic. Rest, drinking plenty of fluids uh, with uh, um, uh, salt is very important. Do not take aspirin or other NSAIDs. Only acetaminophen is very important for the managing the symptomatic treatment of fever and myalgia and joint pain. Regarding uh, how what to do if you have Zika. Protect yourself from mosquito bites during the first week of illness. Usually, it is transmitted. An infected mosquito can spread the virus to other people. So, this is the importance. So, regarding the preven prevention, there are two we can divide in different headlines. So, control of outside mosquitoes regularly empty in the different containers. Tightly cover water storage containers because. Aedes mosquito they breed in this stagnant water, so outdoor mosquito control is very important. Inside them, inside uh, control usually window and door screening it is to be done once a week. Emptying all the containers it is very also important. Can insecticide and other can be used. Personal protection and health education is also very important. Wearing long sleeve clothes. And physical barriers, particularly since it is also trans sexually transmitted, sleeping under mosquitoes also to be. Uh, children are very mm, susceptible uh, for also for this infection like dengue. Uh, so dress your children in clothing that covers arms and legs. This they are to be protected. Uh, in certain areas. Uh, this is George, particularly in Georgia, Cambodia. Uh, fish they eat the larva, so this is being tried in some areas, so that in stagnant water, if this fish is cultured, they can also engulf the this. So if there is a planning for pregnancy in women, wait at least two months after symptoms to start before trying to get pregnant, but. Wait in case of men. Wait at least six months after symptoms start before trying to get pregnant because in it can be passed from semen. So six months after pregnancy is to be planned. Protection during traveling it is to be important. Very important if you are pregnant, do not travel to areas with Zika virus. If you must travel, talk to your doctor. If you to travel to an area with Zika risk of Zika. Strictly follow the steps to prevent mosquito bites. So, um, Mr. Chairman and listeners, Zika virus is a spread uh, is, is to people primarily through the bite of an infected Aedes mosquito. Aedes mosquito and is born several illnesses like tick, dengue, chikungunya. These are prevalent in this subcontinent uh, and highly prevalent in this subcontinent. Yellow fever and Zika virus are also being transmitted by the same mosquito group, so there is a high chance of being potentially threat. Already, in many reporting from maybe in this region from different countries, particularly from India, many people infected with Zika virus won't have symptoms and will only have mild symptoms. 
Death is not that much common. Zika virus infection during pregnancy can cause microcephaly and other several brain damage defects. Preventing measures against mosquito bites remains the core stone to save Zika virus in infection. Uh, once again, I want to express my thanks to the organizers and 